Today I decided to go over the top 10 Pokemon- Wait a minute, there's not even 10 of these things. Top 5 Pokemon Mods for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. These mods have over 300 different Pokemon, a ton of unique features such as Dynamaxing and Mega Evolutions, and who can forget? They're actually going to be working for 1.19 for all editions of Minecraft Bedrock. Watch the videos to the very end to see which ones are actually the best and still working. Welcome back to yet again another video and today I'm going to be going over the top 5 Pixelmon servers for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. These are the latest and greatest Pixelmon updated mods. I'm actually pretty excited about this because we haven't had some in a while. But if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing with post cases on, like the video, and comment in the nice side of the comment section. We are very close to 100,000 subscribers so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Coming in at number 5, we do have Craftmon Galler. So if you guys aren't familiar or just couldn't tell by the name, it's basically a Galar region Pokemon add-on, which is pretty cool. It's supposed to be nice and modern. So let's see what it has to offer. Just a heads up for anybody that's trying to download this mod. The textures are a little bit broken. So as you can see, when I spawn this thing in, I don't even know what that thing's even called. I can't, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. We have a bunch of different things going on here. So this is supposed to be like the, the Rotom Dex, which is actually pretty cool. So I'm guessing you can click on it and you can do like some special trades as well. Clicking on this one right here, we got the Evolved thing. So that's the Evolved Evolution. That's pretty cool. Again, I have not played the Galar region games. And you can also Dynamax your Pokemon, which I'm not too sure on how to do. So I'm going to probably look into it right now. But we also do have like a Tamed one. Oh my goodness. So that's the third evolution of that Pokemon. So that's actually pretty cool. And here should be the second evolution of the Fire type. So if you guys are interested in this mod, you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves. This is going to be a much older version, so I'm guessing that's why it is broken. But the creator has since discontinued this, so unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing any more Pixelmon Galar region. But hopefully one day, we will get an official Gen 8 Pokemon add-on for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So what I would assume is if I click on this with the Dynamax band, or I'm guessing that's not how it works, but I do have one in my hand. I guess you would click on a certain Pokemon and essentially they would get a whole lot bigger, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be working in this case, which is kind of unfortunate, honestly. I was really hoping for some Dynamax action, but you can have these Pokemon fight as well, and there's also throwable Pokeballs. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number four spot on our list. Trust me, you guys are going to really like this one. But coming in at number four, we do have Pokemon Clear Crystal Go. So this does have a gem update, but I wasn't able to go ahead and find it. But it seems like these add-ons are still working. So as you can see, we do have Reggie Steel here, which is pretty cool. We can go ahead and spawn these in. We have a shiny mill tank. That's pretty crazy as well. And we do have a stamp. And this also does have a shiny vial plume. These are like a lot of shiny Pokemon here. We do have a shiny Magby as well. That's actually pretty cool. Let's spawn in the next one. Shiny Togekiss. That's actually insane. And you can actually tame these Pokemon, I believe, just by getting a Pokeball. Or there's there's some special steps. You guys might want to go ahead and read the article that I am going to put down in the description below because you guys can learn more about this mod. And here is going to be a uh, Weavile, which is pretty cool. And I'm just such a big fan of this mod because it has a good variety of Pokemon. It doesn't seem like a lot of other mods are going to be doing this for a while or they're going to take a while to go ahead and catch up. So I'm just grabbing a bunch of random ones right now. It's going to spawn in the next one, which we have a shiny Steelix. That's absolutely insane. Next one, we do have a Magmortar. And again, I know what you guys are saying down in the comment section. Like, what the heck is this Magmortar? It does look pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, we do have a Reggie Ice. We just spawned it in. And Weavile is back again. We do have an Espeon too, which is pretty cool. We have, uh, what, what's this thing called? Pupitar? So we have that as well. And Reggie Rock, or Reggie, I, or not, no, my bad. Reggie Steel is back. And then we have Flaffy. And then we have Politoed. And overall, I'm just very happy 
with the selection of Pokemon, but again, it does suffer to some bugs, so keep that in mind, guys. And again, I am grabbing these at random, so I'm just trying to show you guys what they are going to look like, because I know that's probably something that you're curious about. We do have Sylveon. It does not have Greninja. It does have the healing machine here as well. You guys can go ahead and check it out. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number three spot on our list. Coming in at number three, we do have Project Pixelmon. So this is actually my very own mod and the reason why I'm putting it at number three is it hasn't been updated in a while and you won't be getting this exact update so keep that in mind. I do have to go ahead and add in a ton more things and we do have Kulava here. We do have Garchomp and a lot of these things need to be resized too so that's just something like Politoed is like way too big. Mamoswine we have over here. We do have a fortress as well. We have this guy right here, Bug Catcher. And then we do have a Bay Leaf, which honestly, whoa, whoa, Bay Leaf. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I seeing that right? Or maybe its head is just like weird. Okay, no, it's back. It's back. I was about to say, because it looked like its head was like rotating outside of its body somehow. But let's go ahead and we got a water gem leader as well. So just tons of different things. I do want to eventually get a server. I think Bedrock Edition is really missing its own dedicated server. Shout out to Mammo Swine. That's a really nice uh, creature right there. A lot of cool Pokemon inside of this pack. And I believe we are set to add in at least 250 different Pokemon. But again, it isn't done. But you guys can download the previous version and it should be working. It should have some of the battle mechanics that I did have previously but I did want to show you guys what I'm working on let's go ahead and jump into the number two spot on our list coming in at number two we do have pixel mon drip so I spawned in the whoa what just happened okay so that just randomly spawned in and like a whole town just came out of nowhere that was very trippy I don't know how I feel about that it kind of did ruin the add-on a little bit but let's go ahead and click on this and we should be able to go ahead and trade with them but this just came out of nowhere i'm just so shocked to go ahead and see this let's go ahead and place in some pokemon here so let's see what we got so we do have an abra so that's actually pretty cool uh again it is floating which i guess makes sense because it's psychic i don't know if that was on purpose or not you never know with these mods you know we got flareon flareon could use some work with the model and honestly, this just has so many different Pokemon. It is pretty cool what they're going to be doing with this mod. So do we just throw something at them? I'm just not 100% sure. But yeah, you cannot attack them. They are just models for now, most likely. But anyways, let's go to jump into number one. We do have Serp Pokedrock. So this add-on has been worked on for a long time. But I'm just not a big fan of the gameplay itself. I feel like we still need a better add-on than this. And this is just my personal opinion. But we do have like a few Pokemon that just... And I didn't even spawn all of these in. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I don't know why all of these spawned in. I don't know if this is like a glitch or something. But these are insane. They're just really big. But yeah, this mod actually does have... A bunch of features but I feel like it's missing leveling systems and just a bunch of different things that you would come to expect from a Pixelmon mod so I started checking around and it looks like there's no Pokemon spawn eggs to actually be seen but let's keep looking around I did see all those Pidgeotos though so let's go ahead and try summoning something so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a Gengar as you can see a Gengar is right here, so let me go in and see if I can find it. It looks like it doesn't appear in the spawn eggs, which is kind of interesting. The last Pokemon I do want to summon is going to be Articuno. As you can see, it does have like a new model, and its tail just looks absolutely insane. And if you go ahead and get the Pokemon Tame, I believe there is a Tame tool. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm a little bit confused on why I can't spawn anything in. But I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. But that's going to pretty much wrap today's video. Hopefully you guys were able to go and enjoy and find the best Pixelmon mods for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time for the next video on Shift Replays. Bye.